everything you want, but you can't have. Number one regret, no takebacks. The hole in your chest, that's payback. Payback, yeah, you better take that. You could call me selfish, you critical, I could take the blame. Just going like for Raging Virtue here on the uh, Renata, trying Fair. to... Build oh. Mosekinus. Scatter the week trying to come forward here. Summit just by himself line. finds himself. And Kingdom Magnus no more to three. It's gigantic and Summit's going all out. He's going to get out of the fight as well with Kumiyushi. He's taken down Yon already. And he and Core JJ, both of them are going to go golden. And it's T1 that just roll over the top of TL. And even Summit will not be allowed to escape as Kumiyushi looking to chase after him. He's got the ward in the brush. And I have a feeling Summit, by going the wrong direction, That's is probably still going and to die. After a 35-minute nail biter with two Barons going over to TL, T1, well, they don't get the clean ace because Summit stays alive, but... They were that winning until they game. weren't! Chronicler, and that is going to be the Nexus turrets falling down. Our observers following the story of Summit, but it's the Nexus that needs to be addressed, and T1! I'm gonna take the game, the first game. The wave recall and now be on the way to Rift Herald, which wouldn't give C9 time to kill it. 2v2 at the top side, the Equalizer getting some big value, and now Owner is going to join up with this one as they do want to extend this play, but not sure if they want to overextend as Sven has come on in. And the Black and Drag goes in up to the Rakan as Owner just doesn't give a damn. He has Carrier behind him, gets him in the death chamber. Oh, and the ultimate man. Comes down and everybody is going down on the side of C9. Doing does has changed a lot in the last 11 years. Now the thing Faker does is get a bunch of really mechanically talented players around him, hold his own in mid lane, and press his F keys yeah. really good in top. He's been pressing his keys pretty well. Owner, once again, I, maybe it's showboating, I'm not sure. Owner in a little bit of trouble as he does have some help from his squad, but he is going to be able to get away. Blabber gets hooked by the feathers, and now there's a massive equalizer on the entirety of C1. Just trying to, C9 rather, trying to retreat out of this one. That's a huge play comes out from Kyria, oh. and they turn this one around, and even the tower can't get into this one. As Kyria will disable that, this might just be a clean ace going into the hands of C1, and that it is. Nobody will fall. A bit of a delayed invade hit. Yeah, owner. Could be under pressure, as you can see. They see it marked with a spear. The three-man invade coming out from BLG. Crash down. Not going to find anything He's other fighting. than the red buff. Now they're backing away. Red buff still at about 1,000 HP. Owner taking some damage, gets ignited. Has to continue falling back. Shun still trying to find a little bit of poke oh. here. They engage. Oh, nicely catching Owner up. But now Shun's going to back away. Owner with a flash out, trying to stay alive. But now Elk is under pressure, down to 100 <laughs> HP. They're nearly going to kill him. It's first blood back over to T1. The invade crashes and burns. Now Shun has to try to get away. The Flash is already down. Can he escape the power of the Kench? He's been hit with the lick, the Flash of the Wall. How many licks to the center of a Nidalee Pop? It's only gonna take one more. Shun falls. Carry it right the second kill of the game for T1. And he ain't done yet. Kumayushi's coming in. Carry has got a red buff. Hard is continuing to be slowed. T1 may have just won the game in two and a half minutes. Oh, 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 wow! On oh. barely lives, but Caria is a monster! Another knockup coming out as Elk. He shouldn't die here, but he's nearly oh, gonna be killed. Good. At least half of it. BLG, this is the moment. All right, TP coming in. They want to try to stop this, find a punish. Knockup on two coming out from owner. Guma usually looking to disengage back up towards the top side of the jungle. TP coming in now. T1 regrouping. Low health bars on BLG. Zeus is taking towers right now. Zeus did not join. T1 said, we're fine without you, buddy. All right, pin is low. Still lots of free firing damage coming up from Guma Yushi. Remember, there is no ulti available for Alcon. Goes in, finding a magnet storm on the three, but he ain't gonna find any kills just yet. On is gonna die first. They take out the jungler second. Ben ain't gonna get it. Shun is down. T1, run them over. Set back into the fight to wreak havoc. Carrier, he's oh, not done. Oh no, he even stopped Ben's recall. If he gets this croc here, there it is. A pistol dive. Take Champ select. Will he be able to stay safe? Yes. The resounding answer from all of T1 is yes. Faker with his crown shattered. Okay, owner with the engage, forcing the flash out of Yagao. Beautiful flag and drag right back out over the wall. Ben gonna be the target now as on looks to try to provide some disruption. Shun back over with a wall breaker, but he ain't gonna find a whole lot. Re-engage from owner. Stop watch to stop them in their tracks. Oh my goodness, it's T1! Just absolutely rolling over him. Double
Triple kill for Guma. Triple kill for Guma. Owner picks up another. Action. Back in the action yet again. Shun trying to get away. Super Mega Death Rocket not going to find the target, but Guma Yushi finds the kill on Elk instead, and they'll happily take that. Ben trying to disengage for the leap strike back to his jungler, but now he's going to be thrown up in the air by Owner yet again. Shut down over to Guma Yushi. T1 may have just won the game. Another convincing fight for T1. BLG just, they, they have no options in the fights. Tijuana just consistently getting the better of them. Shun is forced to retreat. The TP now coming in from both Zayas and Faker. Tijuana ready to end it here. The early game was tough. The top lane was rough. And for BLG, it was not enough. T1, the greatest team ever in League of Legends, is ready to bring it back and do it again. They're on the Nexus, and they're on their way to the quarterfinal. Tangyeong, 지금 저는 많이 성장했으니까 지금의 저를 느껴보세요. Yechana. 다시 만나서 반갑다. 최고가 되려면 저를 넘어서야 할 겁니다. Of course, that bear inside, and T1 do have mid prio. The dragon spawning just now, so will LMG just try to rush it? And the answer is going to be yes. Zika's already on it, and T1 are coming, so the fight is going to be on. Have to be careful about locking themselves in the pit. Keep your eyes on Guma if he gets to the back line. Owner now stepping forward. Dragon Soul stolen, and now it's Guma Yushi looking to tear through the entire team. Goes golden right to the back Take line. Up. Zeus continuing to step up, but Zeka needs to be the difference maker. Zeka needs to hold on, but there are too many members free firing into the Gwen. Zeus stands strong on the back side of the fight, taking down so many members on the side of LNG. He doesn't really stand much of a chance. Your perma pushed in. So even once this Blitzcrank got out of lane, there wasn't much recourse for him. And T1 on the push, Zayas may be in trouble. Zayas off to the side, but LNG has to be careful about overcommitting. Zayas still just taunting them, teasing them. Blitzcrank, can the hook come out? Cataclysm blocking him in, they will connect, but he pulls it back upon the Osis! Kumayushi ascending to godhood in that moment as LNG are torn to shreds. T1 too far ahead, they make it look effortless. It's a clean ace for T1. Shockwaves the minions just to speed up the demise of LNG. The Korean fans erupt here as T1 is going to claim game number one. In DPS, he absolutely outclasses Kuma. But if it just comes down to a poke battle, he will not come out on top. LNG forcing the issue. Hawk doesn't have a good angle to engage at all, though. Like, look where he's playing. He's almost like trying to mark Zayas, but he needs to get the back line. They're going to go. Flash in. Owner Galaman is to make it on safety. Isolated for now. Look for Zayas over the wall. Zayas on the back line. But Gala down forced to safety. Shock rooms stacked. Zayas can't find the angle, but the shutdown coming through for Baker. T1 taking the fight anyway. Gala looked good, but Gala did not matter. T1 finding the exchange. Owner a little bit chunked here, and Hong's looking for that angle. They're going to try to pinch Zayas. Dragon resetting a little bit here. Both sides backing away. It's just a battle of poke. Both sides hoping to bait the other one into pressing the trigger. The charm now coming through. Will it be enough to lock down Zayas? No is the answer. Scout given to the Aatrox as tribute, and now Gala's in trouble. T1 coming alive. They see the window of opportunity. They see the weakness in the armor of LNG, and they tear it asunder. There is no room left in the fight. T1 will take everything they want in this game, too. Hug, a last desperate effort, but the TP's coming mid. I mean, that's going to be game. They're going to throw for the end. T1 put LNG in a lose-lose position. You have to contest for this objective. Elder, just too much power to give over. But T1, patiently prodding, find the angle. And the fervor of the fans in Busan will not force T1 to play over-aggressive. They keep their discipline, they remain composed, they close out cleanly versus LNG in game two and bring us to match point, a semi-final spot on the line. Drake goes for LNG for what feels like the first time. Oh, as we might have another return player from Tarzan. Rinse and repeat, finding the lineup, finding the angle, instant damage coming through for Infelio, so they can get the root as well. If they can find the mark, but nice counter punch coming in from Guma, using the ult to stop the play in its tracks. Gala continuing to step up. Desperate to get a little bit more here, but has to be careful. The mark now coming through. Bar is good damage. Guma wants to finish it, oh! and he gets it! Absolutely outplayed in the 1v1. Guma finds the kill. If the topside turret, T1 are still looking for a player. I don't know about that. Has to be careful. 
Carry and Guma continuing to back up. Three seconds left oh, on Guma Yushi's ultimate. In. There's no TPs. Not with Audi Barris, cannot one-shot the wave. Look at the Hexgate. Faker's on his way. Ulti available for Tarzan in just a couple of seconds here. Counting down, ticking away. Yeah, they can't do it. Faker gonna try to cover early ult to try to make it on safety. T1 backing off, are they gonna kill? LNG linger for a bit too long, not respecting the burst. And here comes Faker, Tarzan. Getting shredded by the soldier. One more is gonna do it. The Emperor of Shirima finding the double. First time ever, right, that we have four representatives from the same region. But T1, it doesn't look like the pressure's getting them whatsoever. Again, T1 taking their time, don't need to overcommit. They have the waves on their side, they have the soul on their side, the gold lead, every advantage they could want. No reason to risk anything. It is slow, it is steady, it's controlled, it is massive damage. Gala firing back with the Inferno multi just to generate a little bit of space, but Scout getting chunks down. Don't even need a wave, just tearing through the tower as life bars shrink on the side of JDG, or LNG, excuse me. Hope dwindling. JDG on the minds of T1 looking ahead to the semifinals. It's just isn't missing. It's ridiculous. It's like 20 shock blasts in a row that this guy has hit. He's monster fed. And he is just having them Can't downloaded. Take back, connected down to the walls. They use firing up with so much damage. Down goes Zika. The pushback is massive. Gala knocked out at T1 eyes on the prize. And it's the god of thunder. He loves his lightning champions. And Jace was always his most iconic. And in this final game, Zayus shows why he still pulls it out. Final push now, LNG, one last desperate hold. But they've got nothing left. And even as every other LCK team falls away, Faker stays standing. T1 stays standing. The last light of the LCK burns bright. And Busan is ahead to the semifinals. Area has to be a bit careful about how far forward he steps. Kanavi ready with the ultimate. Zayo's strong. Getting low. But opted for lethality. He's still relatively squishy, all things considered. Zayo still stepping forward to the infernal chain, looking for the lockup. Tempered fate now coming in, isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line. Owner immediately with the follow up engage. Zayo still standing. Now finally the buy is going in, but it might just be too little too late. Knight. Oh, Zayo's TV to the back of the fight. Burn. Zayo's ticking, burning, but the shutdown is like it's nine. But now they are just fish caught in the barrel, waiting on the slaughter of the curtain call. T1 stepping in and dominating the Herald fight. Owner waiting in the darkness. JDG, this is such a tough angle to fight from. Continuing to stay around, continuing to stick around, willing to give up so many resources. The crash in mid lane already happened from the Herald. The tower slowly but surely crashing. Rather breaking down now as Dragon still aggroed here. Carrier playing on the edge. Ruler going through the portal. Feathers fly, but to little effect as JDG just have to run the pullback over the wall. Now they're just trying to isolate and take out Zeus. Big goal blocks for the side of JDG. Can they take the ball and fight? Already the equalizer burned. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get out, but Owner will be denied. Owner cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter because T1 are there in time. Mystic trying to fire back. Gumi Yushi out of ammo, desperately trying to reload, but here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight, the flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down, playing on the edge. Missing as he stabbed Faker's Faker coming. Bar. Faker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help has to play careful here. Knight, no ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lock up there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in, the pullback on the missing, trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in, trying to turn it back. Guma says not today. TP from the Akali. Knight in the area now. T1 maybe just gonna fish for the pick here. Already got one advantage. Tempered fade onto Kanavi is big. The lineup is there. Zayo's immediately gonna look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi no going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Big damage coming in for the Dark and Blade. Missing on the back, they're trying to buy some space. But the shockwave is clean! And in comes the curtain call! And it's Zayus wreaking havoc on all of JDG to finish the fight. T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. The finals are at least one game closer. T1. Showing up massive in this first game. Missing and Kanavi should not be enough. The Nexus 
Lower and lower, T1. Drawing first blood. Carry eyes on the hostile takeover to maybe be the difference maker in this fight. Zayus on the flank, Baker over the wall. Objective getting lower and lower. Weaver's wall coming out, isolating owner. Might go for the 50-50, but it's absolutely psycho. Flashes over the arrow. Baker oh! goes in. It's incredibly clean. JDG with the counter punch. Can they get anything back? Ruler on touch on the backside. Dragon still standing. But owner will take that away too. My God, what an engage from T1. Owner, you magnificent beast. Story for 369 on the bottom side. T1 just need to weather the storm. And the heal is good in lane, but once you get out, it is very tough not to have the cleanse. Zayus on the flank, Zayus on the side. TP coming in, Faker looking to make the flank, oh! he gets Ruler! Owner goes in! And again, the combos are clean, the hostile takeover is damn well hostile! T1 looking to leave no survivors alive, 369 has been the entire team, will get absolutely nothing! T1 what? in the clutch are too damn clean! Baker predicts Ruler's flash! He gets there first! He catches him with the ultimate! It is a clean ace! Single moment from T1 that gave them this game that set them up for a match point. Missing. He won't be enough. T1 gonna break the base. T1 gonna move on to match point. A clean fight out of nowhere secures them their second game. JDG know they have priority access to the pit. Zayus waiting over the wall. Again, it is all eyes on Ruler. He has to be the difference maker here. A good shockwave, the Zeri follow-up could be enough for JDG to take the fight, but for now they're focused on the objective. Owner zoning them away, 2.5k is getting lower and lower, they will burn it down, they get what they came for. T1, do they want to stay for the fight? Knockup coming through, Owner caught up, Flag and Drag will take him out to safety. Kanavi burning on the back side, Owner still standing, with Ruler with the lightning crash now trying to go in, but goes gold and carry by a bit more space for the rest of the team. Arrows coming in from the bars, Ruler incredibly low, but maybe, There's just maybe, he can turn it back with Goomba still standing tall. Oh, he can't oh. walk into range, T1! Starting to feel like an inevitability! Ruler Zary, not enough! T1 are running JDG in circles in these team fights! What? Zayus flashing forward. Zayus can start this one, draw the attention of JDG. They're forced to respond. They can't afford to give up the soul. Guma clearing the midwave. T1 a bit split. Eyes on Ruler. Eyes on the shockwave of night. Kanavi stepping in, flash to the side from Faker. At the cost of Barry Kanavi! Little. Owner walking what? forward, but Baker now dominating! Kanavi! A massive mistake! Carry now going in, the ruler's untouched! Goes golden and now Ruler! Looking to take over the fight, Ruler still standing, but Goomba's still standing, Goomba firing back! Ruler goes down! Goomba's just better! Zayus now stepping in, bait sealed. Or rather, Soul Unbound now taking it back. The Ocean Soul for T1. They get everything they want. Trying to defend their Golden Road as it crumbles before them. T1, the onslaught will not stop. Third inhibitor goes down. T1 pushing in. They're not done. They've got the Baron still. 36 seconds. 5k Red Bull Baron power play. Backing them up. Zayas finding an initial knockup. Just a bit of poke. Single misstep from JDG and T1 can instantly fully commit to the fight. It's the shockwave. Kanavi getting lower and lower, falling apart under the pressure. JDG's hope dwindling. They've taken down BLG. They've taken down LNG. It is not LPL versus LCK. It is T1 versus the LPL. And they like those odds as they move to finals. Shy and Weiwei's ultimate. We'll see if T1 tries to go for an alternative play. Just push mid. But it looks like Weibo isn't even going to give him the opportunity. It's Odar! Oh, there's a game flash out. Who's going to be pushed into Vega the flash forward with the jump? He's going to miss. What? He just doesn't land a shower. Just walks it up. No worries there at all. As Crisp is under the turret. They threw the arrow. But Zayas has found two with the ultimate life. Goes down so low, but isn't going to survive. Weiwei trying to get himself out of there. And the Shy is given up on. Get the 
Dragon, but T1 get the kill. Shahu lucky to get out of that one. But way, way, he's going over the body bag. The most underrated parts about this is how Tanky actually makes the cannon minions. They become very difficult to actually wave clear out. It allows you to harass your opponent, but Guma. Could be in a bit of trouble here as Chris looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is the twisted advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, with the shy. It's just gigantic Guma trying to hop away. The face call, the knockoffs. And meanwhile, Wei Wei is going down. Baker collects it before falling down. Chris has to go, though, because he's so incredibly low. And Zayas is tearing them to shreds. Wei Wei lying on the floor now as T1 looked to tidy up Chris. And they won that team fight even better than the loss. Guma refuses to go down. Karius saves him. Coming in with the hustle takeover in T1. They're on the bear as well. Still gonna look for that reset angle, and now with the Baron buff in tow, T1 feel like they don't need a reset to try and break open the face of Weibo here in game one of the finals. Nature's Grasp flying forward. Ono still has that GA oh. there, but Chris going down so incredibly low. Zayas just executes the Chai up to the side, and there is another one. This guy's Yone is just absurd, and the inhibitor's going to go down. Weiwei is burning there as well. Now Xiaohu tries to be the hero, but it does not work out. I'm just gonna end game one here. And the early game, T1 not able to get a bunch of crucial kills, but they don't let it face them. They are able to find the one skirmish they're looking for, take the Baron, and from that point on, Weibo doesn't get to fight back. They're gonna try and contest the Drake with very little vision. Well, Zayas on a flank have to know. here as well. Chris gonna be spotted, but he does put that ward down. That is going to get there. The Drake going down very, very low, and now the Paranoia comes in. Vega looks for the Spirit Rush, and he does find it. The Hostile Takeover is massive, and they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei Wei taken down for the double kill for Ono. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back, and it does take down the Nocturne, but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the map, and Kumiuchi is going to cash in once again, and T1 wipes the fight. This point, which is kind of crazy, after Eagle. how badly this early game started. He has been cashing in, and Weibo trying yeah. to start something here. Here's another one, the Nature's Grasp. They all line up behind, but it's a decent charm to come through there. Hostile takeover for some phenomenal disengage, and it looks like T1, they don't want to deal with it. Faker dashes over the wall. Remember, they don't have a turret here. The charm is going to split them. Carrier tries to get oh. it. He goes forward, and then just explodes, and then Ona thinks that that's his moment. It's a double again for this Nocturne, and he survives. The logistics protocol coming in from Carrier to make sure that the Nocturne doesn't burn down. G1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shai, but they dive in. The turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds. And Zayas just by himself destroying everyone. Hostile takeover comes in. Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death. It's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor. It might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake. Oh God, this guy is going crazy in the finals. Just and extraordinary assist helps clear up this second Nexus turn and T1 at match point already. Uh, going toward Light and Crisp, and especially that is because Guma and Carrier are so hard to attack in a lot of these situations. Oh, Q going to connect that nice little knockoff as Carrier tries to find it. There's the quickness on to two. The kick gets the knockoff onto Xiaohu. The Empress of Ida only gets Ona, but that will get him out. But Weiwei's not going to be so lucky. The Shy got in here and now he might be in trouble. He breaks the chains, but is he still going to be able to get out? Kumiyushi decides he wants to fight light towards the bottom side. That was the right call. Zayas grabs the double kill, and Weibo lose out on the fight. Kumiyushi pretty safe now on that back line. Look at Karia, though. It's so hard for Weibo to walk up because Karia is on that sideline. They know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in. He finds himself the charm on the fours. There is the ultimate from the Shy, but it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out, but Fika has the perfect execution and locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage and Faker is in the shroud. He's toying with him. It's a double kill. What? Oh, and back in again. It's a triple. The Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker eventually goes down, but it's four for him and Karen. Leader individually since 2017. This year, you can make that argument. He has been tearing it up. He's been great in lane, has really been impressive in team fights. And it just feels like a rejuvenated Ooh. Faker. And he goes again, as now Ona looking for that opportunity as well. Backflip connects also as the perfect execution comes forward. Has he overstepped the answer? Is no, because he had the stopwatch anyway. And now the cavalry comes in. Chris, the next to go down. Weiwei, he's under a turret. Oh. 
Edge is on top. The lethal Aatrox gonna get it done in T1. They feel like it's Baron time. It's the king at home. Respect the name, Faker, the greatest of all time. Style it on him in Seoul. They're gonna win the series in Carrier. Gonna get knocked up here as Ona comes on over. He's here to protect his support. The quickness ties them all up. And Shao going to be the next target. He finds two with the Empress Divide, but Chris just evaporates. Wei Wei going to suffer the same fate as Deus is on the warpath light. Able to sidestep, finds the chains of corruption, but there's not enough damage. Shao decent flash to try and get himself out, but he's not out of the woods yet as Faker tidies up that kill. And they are just so far ahead. Ona secures light with a sonic wave in the shy. Finds himself alone heading back towards his base. That's the double kill. That's the clean ace for D1. Zeus oh. won't even get that. It's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over Zeus. He likes this one though. One versus three. He's absorbing so much. The Empress Divide. It comes in, but he's still alive. What? It's going on. Faker tidies up the first. Everyone's just exploding. As Wei Wei trying to get something done, but it does not matter. T1 are too strong. Four times T1 has lost in a beam five. Four times they've been knocked out, and four times they have got back up for this moment. It was seven years since their loss, a decade since their first. The SKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champion. As we head towards the trophy ceremony presented by Mercedes-Benz. Oh, the Summoner's Cup, beautiful, crafted by Tiffany and Co. T1 finally hoisting it with the new name. SKT was their name when they had the first three, and now this team that so many adore will finally hoist the Summoner's Cup. Waited for it last year. The story wasn't about them, but this year it is.